little things you need to do. Um, you're going to be, you, you want to measure the curve and know what the focal length is, and you need uh, some way to measure the radius on it. And again, well, not again, but the um, radius is uh, twice the focal length. So um, you need a, need some way of measuring. Now, a very crude way of doing it is on like on this generated blank. You take a a straight edge, lay it across your part, and uh, you'll have a sag on there. And you can take a some feeler gauges or a drill bit or something and find find what what the thickness of the center of this. This is not quite there, but you get the idea. You want to measure the the thickness or the sag underneath the straight edge. And uh, once you know that, and you know the diameter across the straight edge and the sag, you can calculate the radius. And this is the, kind of a crude way of doing it, but still you can get um, uh, reasonably close uh, for a Newtonian mirror. Now, another way, probably simpler way, is just to make up a uh, simple spherometer. This is a piece of plywood with three nails in it and a uh, quarter twenty screw with a threaded uh, with a uh, graduated head on it. And uh, with this, you can zero that out on a piece of uh, flat glass, and then and then you can turn it until um, as you turn it, you can uh, it'll touch on three three points until you. Um, until the center uh, contacts and then, and then it'll spin around itself. So you can um, you can get pretty close with this this gauge is a little bit more refined. It also helps you with during when you're generating to make sure um, uh, that your your part stays spherical. You might want to make up a smaller one of these and then check it around and make sure that you get the same reading all around your part during generation. Now, um, I, I mentioned lenses. Um, here are a couple of uh, refractor lenses, and um, they're really, you're really they're doing the same thing. You're generating a curve on these, um, but with lenses, you have to be concerned with uh, center thickness and wedge because uh, they have to be. You, if you're working to a certain prescription, you'll need to know what the center thickness is. And lenses have to be free of wedge or it causes uh, a lot of problems. So you'll need um, some way to, to measure that. And here's what I've got. This is just a simple gauge that I made up. Um, it has a It has an indicator, and I can put my lenses on here and um, measure the, the thickness. Or um, I can swing this around <coughs> to measure wedge and yeah, right location. You can see on here, I've got um, three small um, nuts glued down with uh, hot melt glue and two larger nuts. And what I do with these is I set the lens on, on these nuts and slide it up against the larger one. And um, I didn't do that right. And then I'll take measurements take measurements around the edge and then rotate the part, always keeping them pushed up against these two large nuts. And um, I need to make, make sure that there's no uh, wedge in the parts. And a lot of times uh, with a molded, molded blank there will be a lot of wedge. You can see here that, that I've made different measurements around the, the edge at different times. And you have to grind down the thick side to, to take out the wedge.
Now, working refractor lenses um, or other lenses, usually to a pres prescription, usually requires a lot finer control and radius. So you may need to make a um, better um, uh, spherometer, and this is one that I made. Um, you can, um, this is a, uh, a, a digital indicator, it goes down to a micron sensitivity. <clears throat> and these are just uh, screws with sapphire balls glued into them, and a sapphire tip, and you can, uh, again, you zero this off, and uh, there are programs you can get for for, for using these. Um, may need to, for, for larger sizes, I'll we'll probably have a large, larger base. It's the same idea. So, um, at this point, I'm going to assume that we that you you ground your um, the curve into your mirror, or maybe you you purchased it, which is the easy easy way to the best way to do it, actually. Um, I I have a machine in the basement, so I'll just I'll just grind my lens uh, uh, on on that. But um, we'll start from from making the uh, the penny tool. Once once I have the curve. I'll need to make a plaster tool, and then I want to uh, put pennies on that, and we'll start grinding from there.